Hello there everybody. I just want to show you one of the ways which you can get um, the drawing on the paper from the photo that you've got. Um, and obviously you can do it from the tablet, that kind of thing as well. So it's easier if you've got something printed off actually, in this case, if you're trying to draw it directly onto the paper. So sometimes I'll print off a cheap quality print, um, so you've got something to kind of use as a guide to the scale that you want to draw it out at. So I'm going to start off with a 3H pencil, which is this one here. And... Uh, We'll transfer probably just the I and the B, just give you some ideas how I would take measurements and try and get it onto here doing it freehand. Okay, right, so what we're going to do, we'll start off with the I. I always like to start off with an I anyway, right? So, how would I draw that I out onto here? What I very often do is use another pencil as a guide. So, I'm going to find a pencil that's actually got a reasonable tip on it. So always make sure you've got sharp pencils, okay? And I'll show you what I do. I just use a little bit of emery paper. And lightly, very lightly, sand down the tips of the pencil to get a nice sharp tip. Right, okay. You can get special little pads like this one here, which is the same kind of idea with bits of um, kind of sandpaper on there. But I prefer emery, emery paper, it works quite well. Or glass paper, some people use as well, don't they? So. Right, okay, so we need to think about the eye and work out the measurements for that eye there. So we're going to work out the angle of this and the way you can do it I mean I can see the angle but if you're not sure the eyelid the top eyelid is not that way it's not completely horizontal it's tilted a little bit so use your pencil as a guide so you can see where it goes and you've got your pencil as a guide as well all right you can see my line there starting to form I'm going to over exaggerate it and I will make this a lot darker than need be so you can see it so you can either put it side by side like so if you want to so you know it's in line with that one so you know you got the angle right to begin with that's so important okay the next stage let's just make a little point where the corner of the eye is going to go all right we're going to do it to this scale and the way I would do that is by using your thumbnail which gives my hands a little bit uh, a bit rough at the moment because I would do a lot of woodwork and carving as well so so they're not very well manicured I'm afraid your tip of your nail and the tip of the pencil Okay, so tip of your nail, tip of the pencil. I'm going to put the tip of my nail there. I'm going to move the pencil so that it's in line with the edge of the eye. Okay, tip of the nail, tip of the pencil. So we've got two points. One for your nail, one for your tip. Got the idea? Okay. I hope you have. If you haven't, well I haven't either, so let's start again. No, alright. <laughs> right, so we need to kind of look at my little mark there, which is going to be that corner. And I'm going to rough that in, it's about there. Are we all in agreement there? Yep, so that's about there. Okay. And so we've got the width of the eye, the top of the eyelid already, and the angle. So we've already got that, which is great. So that's that bit there. Now we've got to look at the depth. How long, how far down this bottom eyelid go from the top? How are we going to work that out? Well, the same method again applies. So you would use the tip of your pencil, like so on the tip of your nail. I know you can't see this clear because my shadow is all, all over that, so bear with me. And then that will go sideways. So you're going to use that measurement. You go from the your nail's going to go there. And you can see it's about three quarters of the way along to the tip of the pencil. So that measurement there is about three quarters the length of that measurement there, from there onwards, using your nail as a guide. So well, let's see again. We know, I'll start fresh here, look. Three quarters of the way along that line there, which is roughly about, let's have a look, about there-ish. And we go from the middle, tip your nail, touch it down, and you know the bottom of this line here is the bottom of the eye. Got the idea? That wasn't meant to be a pun, by the way. I know it sounded like one. Ah, oh, dear, what am I like? What you need to do as well, I tend to kind of ghost copy so I'm not touching the card or the, the photograph here. Ghost, copy, and bear, not even touching it. And then I'll replicate that same movement on the drawing. I'm doing this rough for you on purpose so you can see what I'm up to. All right. <laughs> and the same underneath. So I'm doing the same again there. Okay, to that point. And then you can neaten it out as you go along. So we know the measurement's about right. 
and that's going to go down to there. Do it very lightly, I'm doing it dark on purpose, so you can see what I'm doing. And that's, that's the top of the eyelid, that's the bottom of the eyelid, and that's how far it goes along. If you're not sure about the measurement, it looks a bit long to me, double check your measurements. So, that's uh, 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 three quarters, uh, 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 three quarters, about there roughly, which is uh, that's about right. Uh, uh. Okay, <laughs> so it's about right. If you're not sure, then you can always take a little bit off. Just by dabbing your putty rubber on the bottom, I think it needs to be slightly shallower to be honest with you. Which is going to be there. Obviously, as I keep saying, you do it very light. This is a 2H pencil, remember, on this one. Now, I want to see how far along that pupil goes as well. So, oh, I don't know. We know that if you divide one, two, three, the middle section is slightly wider. You can see that as a guess. It's not quite even. So if you divide four, one, two, three, I mean, then that's three. It needs to be slightly wider. You can see that that's a wider gap there than it is on these two edges. So we know that's where the pupil top of it will go. The same will apply with the depth. So you can use your measurements if you want to. Use your nail and the tip of your pencil, sharp pencil, remember. And you know it's going to go about halfway along the top of the eyelid. So halfway along, let's have a look again. Hang on. It's about there, which is about there. Okay. So the bottom of the eye goes to about here, or the pupil. There's quite a large pupil on here as well, as you can see. So. So that's where that goes. That will give you some general ideas initially on how I would take measurements. Okay. So then you would think, well, how far is it from this part of the eye, this edge of the eye, to say this area here? You build out, you grow as you go. Grow as you go. That's a good way of putting it, I have to say. <laughs> you grow as you go. So from that distance to there. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so we'll measure with your nail and tip your pencil from there to there. And we're taking a measurement. Let's use the eye as a guide. Well, would you believe it? From the edge of there to there, it's exactly the same width as the eye. So let's go for the eye as a guide. And just make a little mark, make sure you got it right. And that's the edge of here. So that's how you would find that edge. G's on the edge, okay. Right, so I wanna work out the distance down to there from the bottom of the eye. So let's take a measurement from that. Tip of the nail, tip of the pencil. Let's use the eye as a guide again. It's halfway along them. So, halfway along the eye dum -dum -dum -dum, is the distance to the bottom of your mark there to here. So that's that area there. This is a slight curve. Again, if you want to just ghost trace it, don't touch it, and then replicate that same movement below. Ghost trace ghost trace. So now we've got this and that, this and that. Okay? And then you build your way out as well. So you, you think, well, how far along is this bit here? We know that if we put another line across it from the tip of the, the top of the beak, it's to the bottom of the pupil. Alright, so the bottom of the pupil, make it level. We know it's along this line here somewhere. Let's move that out of the way a little bit. Start again, Paul. We know it's along this line, so I've got this kind of level at the moment, which is where it is on there. Make sure your paper's level, your, your photo. So, so important. And we're going to measure from there to there. Okay. We're just about on the camera here now. Can we work my way off? So that distance there, what's that equal to? Remember using your nails as a guide? Ooh, just past the pupil. So we go... Remember to replicate that, so we go, ooh, just past the pupil. <laughs> Along this ghost line i got here, from the edge of the eye, is there. So keeping your, your measurement, so that is there, is there. Got the idea? Oh, I'll say it again. So you got the, you got the, <laughs> I'm not, I, can't, I don't want to say if you got the ideas, it's too, too much of a pun, isn't it? Then you'd work out the angle of that, so again, Remember what we said? And if you wanted to, you could even use three pencils if you want to. So we've got the same angle there. Just kind of roughly get it about right, which is about there. Okay, and you can use that pencil and do a ghost line. 
little faint line down there, and you know that that's this line here. That's why it's so important to have this level. Okay, so you know this line here is the bottom of the beak. We know that line there is the top of the beak. So we know that's the top of the beak level to there. Okay, and then you'd work out the measurement from here to here. So what's that? Let's have a look. So tip of the nail, tip of the pencil. Oh, too far for that. Let's try it from here. Oh, centre of the eye. So from the edge of here to the tip of the pencil, there's a centre of the eye. So centre of the eye. Just remembering what you're measuring actually <laughs> afterwards is to there. So that mark there is that mark there. Okay. So now you've actually got where this beak ends. So you can see how this is gradually building up as we go along. So again, make some measurements, work out where things are, use your tip of your nail on your thumb, bear in mind I'm left-handed so you have to do it the other way around, I know. Unless you're left-handed of course. Uh, tip of the nail, tip of the pencil, and that's how you'd work out the measurements as you go. So I hope that's kind of enlightened you a little bit, how to do a little bit of freehand measuring and drawing if you haven't got the means of other means of getting the picture onto the paper. Okay. And you can obviously get a soft leaded pencil. You know, like um, for example, I've got a 9B here, look at the state of that. That's rough as anything. You could mark, do it on this on cheap thin paper though, okay? This isn't cheap thin paper. You would rub on the back of the paper, put it onto the watercolour paper, and then obviously trace over the top. Make sure it's fixed down though, once it might move. And then that should transfer that pencil to your paper as well. So you could do it that way around. But there's nothing better really than trying freehand drawing and try and get the hang of it this way because it's a good way of kind of getting your hand-eye coordination working as well as you go along. Okay, so that's that, that's that. We get a beak in there as well. The beak goes to that point there, so we know that. Okay, and we know it just comes past there. That's the beak area there, that's the bottom of the beak. And we'll just sketch that bit in there, just rough. I'm just doing it very roughly at the moment, and that will give us some ideas how to start a drawing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know how you get on, give it a go, and um, I'll talk to you again soon for the next stage, which will be another method of getting it onto the paper. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.